Hi, Carrie. Robert here. Uh, this looks very good. I uh, like how you did this. And I want to look at your schedule here. Uh, a couple of things, and I want to show you how, how we do the weight parameter. So we've got this good and the ma maximum allowable loads. This is important, and it came from the catalog, and we need that. And we have the material pre-galvanized still. Now here we have the weight, and you, max you did weight by linear inch. That's okay, and that's correct, but we want to show the actual weight here. That's why we say weight. We want to show the actual weight because they need to know the weight of the material for when they're doing their shipping. So basically all you do is um, you just go into your fields. And I see right here we have weight. I'm going to just delete that. And then right here where you have this add calculated parameter, we hit the F of X. And then we'll keep weight in here. And then we can leave this at common. And for the nut for the type, we're going to say volume. And then we this is the formula box. So in this little builder block, we'll select it and we'll pick formula material volume for that. And then we'll say times. Now I'm just using 490, the weight of steel per cubic foot. So one cube of steel is 490 pounds. Now, oops, sorry. Now, I don't know the actual size for pre-galvanized steel, but I know of the steel, and they don't have a problem with us being a little over. So that once we do that, we'll say OK. And then I'll just say OK again. And there's our values populated. So that 18 inch piece is about half a pound, a little more. And as you see, these sizes graduate up as they get larger. So that's how you know that, you know, the piece getting bigger. And, and that will calculate automatically based on the volume. So now I want to go in here and look at format because we don't need this cubic foot here. So we'll look at formatting. And we'll look at uh, weight, and then we'll select field format right here. And then we'll uncheck this pro use project settings so we can change this. And right here, we can change the decimal places. I use two, and that's basically all we need is two. And we can just say none here. And then we'll say OK. And there you go. That's how we want to have this schedule. And you should be able to have this already set up in one of the schedules. And once again, like I said, uh, if you want to, if we ever figure out what the actual weight of uh, galvanized steel is, we just go here and click edit and we change this value. So we need to know what a cube of galvanized steel weighs. So like I said, they don't mind if it's a little over there. So that's why I use 490. Okay, so that's looking good. So that's basically how you do that. And I want to show you one other thing here while I'm in here. This is good. I like how you did this family. So I'm going to activate this view. And I'll open this family up. Go into this family. My laptop is slow, sorry. So you really did good with this. You created all your types. And that's great. But now what we want to do also, we want to create a type catalog. And all you do for that is you'll just go File, Export, Family Types. And that's creating a, a uh, text file. Now, the trick to this is, you probably know how to do this. It has to sit where the family is. So I need to find that family. Good. Where did I get it from? Let's see. Oh, I think I put it on my USB drive under this. Uh oh. I'm not sure if I put it under. 
Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Just cancel this. I'm going to do this again. File, export, family types. I'm going to put it on my desktop just so I know where it is and I'll save it. And then I want to do a file save as for this on my desktop as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to window tile this. I have another file open here. Actually, I'll just open up a new project, show you how we want to do this. So we'll go to file new, new project. Uh, it can be architectural, doesn't matter. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to insert the family that I saved to my desktop. There it is. Open. Okay. So this is the type catalog. So what we want to do is, for each family we create, we want to have this type catalog so the user can basically select which family he wants to use and it's in, in the project. I think <laughs> it's in there. Oh my gosh. Let's see, I didn't. Let's try this again. Let's load the family again. On my desktop. Okay, open. And there's our type catalog. So basically, you select this guy and hit OK. making me a liar. <laughs> but anyway, that's how you create a type catalog. And see, is it in there? Oh, boy. <laughs> but anyway, that's what you do. So basically, it's probably acting funny because um, I got so much going on here. Let me see if I can... If I can just load it straight in from here. To project, that's so project one. Okay. It's in there. I don't know where, but it's in there. But anyway, that's 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 good for stylists. Uh, and like I said, when you create your family types and everything, use the weight parameter that I showed you and then basically um, do the type count with the, the little text file when you export they have to go together in the same directory so once you after you um, create your family and all your types export the family types so you can get the catalog and they they go together so basically you need a family and the type catalog this going to be a txt file hey thanks for watching and you're doing a good job it's game on let's keep it going carrie talk to you later bye